Hey everybody, so this is a little clarification tutorial um, on the previous two, almost three, that I, I've made um, because it was leading to um, question marks. <laughs> so I just want to make sure that everyone follows what's going on. I did not use exactly the proper terminology, so I want to make sure that we don't get confused. Uh, so. These two tutorials on QST2 and on TS are two tutorials that show you how to guess a potential transition state for a reaction. But I don't follow it all the way through to the actual transition state calculation. All right. Um, so it, it's it's like a way of guessing it, but I don't go all the way to it. Better because I don't want to make it too long and it's hard to watch if the tutorial is too long. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you, um, starting off from this Avogadro with Gaussian tutorial TS, um, basically take the final output from this uh, video and lead it all the way to the end, to the actual transition state. Uh, it's very simple. It's all the calculations that you've already done if you've watched my other tutorials. So um, nothing, nothing terrible. Right, so the um, final output of that uh, TS guess tutorial was this. All right, so we, we have our uh, potential transition state. We thought calculated the frequencies. We have only one imaginary frequency it corresponds to the reaction coordinate that we are looking for. So it's it's exactly what we want, except that now we will not put this constraint between the atoms that we did before using the mod redone. Okay, if you if you go back to the input, so here, this was the input that I used in my other video, and you should not use the TS. Okay, you should just use mod redone, and the coordinate that we froze was between atoms one and six which are, well, let me find the label, which are the carbon and the fluorine. Okay, so because this is a guess, we had to help out the system figure out what's the reaction coordinate. But now that we have a good guess, we have the frequencies, we can use this as an input for the actual transition state calculation. So if you go to um, your now uh, to your common lot nine now it's going to be we're optimizing for a transition state um, and we will be looking for a transition state near uh, this spot on the potential energy surface basically okay so if you want to continue on and do an IRC on this um, structure afterwards, then you'll have to add uh, the calculate uh, force constants keyword right here. Uh, you may want to add the Cartesian keyword because it, it's fair, fairly flat, so several atoms are aligned, you might get in trouble with if you're using uh, the Z matrix. And I had to augment my maximum number of steps to 300. Uh, because it wouldn't converge in 100 steps. All right. Uh, also, if you want to do an IRC, don't forget to use the checkpoint file, and uh, you're good to go. The um, result of this calculation is this right here. So we did not constrain anything, and that's what you get. All right. Fairly simple so this bond is too long even though it's it's um, still there but we see that it corresponds fairly nicely to our guess so now if you compute the frequencies and uh, the frequency input is exactly the same except that you instead of opt you put a uh, freq f r e q right then you get this output Alright, so now we have again only one imaginary frequency and it corresponds to 
the reaction coordinate that we were looking for. Okay. It's funny that my atoms are getting squared. Okay. So there. Um, this is a structure that you're looking for. Not the one in the previous video. So this is the actual transition state. The other one is a guess for the transition state. And this is a structure that you can use for your IRC calculation if you want to do one to see the whole reaction pattern. All right, so um, sorry for uh, misleading terminology, uh, and I hope that this makes it clear. Uh, if you have other questions, don't hesitate to uh, comment uh, for the video or write me an email, and I'll try to help you out. Um, so good luck with your work, and um, send me some suggestions. I know I'm kind of slow uh, on making videos, but um, I'll try to address all of your questions as soon as possible.